And a group of North Shore moms and organizers are headed to Washington to demand change to prevent more gun violence. WGN's Jenna Barnes is in the newsroom now with a preview of Wednesday's March. Jenna. Lourdes and Ray, some have already made their way to D.C. More than 60 volunteers are pitching in to organize every aspect of this march, spearheaded by a mom who is fed up. A Washington, D.C. hotel room is not where mom of three, Kitty Brantner, expected to be this Monday. But like so many, her world changed a week ago. I want to make Highland Park the last community to be impacted by a mass shooting. Brantner is planning the March 4th at the Capitol Wednesday, demanding an assault weapons ban. She says more than 500 people will join her. It's just been incredible and very, very overwhelming and very humbling to realize that we so, so, so many of us from every corner of America, of every walk of life is in unity and in unison wanting to scream at the top of our lungs that we need to federally ban assault weapons and do it right now. Her new March 4th organization formed just days ago has already raised more than $200,000. Some of that money will cover the travel and lodging expenses for 50 survivors from Highland Park and Uvalde who plan to attend Wednesday's March. There are survivors that are so incredibly brave that are turning their grief and severe despair into action and the time is right now. And I just spoke with two more moms who were at the parade and ran for their lives with their families. They are now at O'Hare boarding a plane to D.C., fired up about creating real change for their kids. Ray and Lourdes, we will have their story coming up tonight at 9. Will be interesting to hear it. Thank you so much, Jenna Barnes, in our newsroom.